Good evening and welcome to Storytime with Jason. I'm Jason and tonight we do another ad hoc ad lib. And remember, you can always send me your ad hoc ad lib requ uh, request at uh, Twitter at StorytimeWJ. For these three items, we have three words, I mean. We have, first word is finance, like dealing with money. And then write it down. And then the second word is raft, like uh, like a sort of boat or small craft that goes on the water. Okay, whitewater rafting, Robinson Crusoe raft, things like that. Um, and then crow's nest. Yes. Like a crow's nest where he lives. Um, then the random name generator. We have coal. And... Carry. Okay, <clears throat> cool. They they're even they're even similar. They're literary. They're a literary. All right, cool. So crow's nest, raft, finance. Um, got it. Okay. So one day, Cole the crow was sleeping in his crow's nest, and when his good friend Carry, who happened to be a robin, oh, <laughs> sorry, things are falling over on my desk. Um. Okay, starting that over. Once upon a time, Cole the Crow was asleep in his crow's nest, and his good friend Carrie, who happened to be a robin, fluttered up, and Carrie said, Cole, 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 wake up. And Cole rubbed the eyes, rubbed his eyes with his you know, feathery wings and said, yeah, what, what's going on, Carrie? And, and she said, oh, we have to go uh, take this raft down a river. I found a treasure map, and it has where a, uh, where a secret treasure is buried. And Cole's like, well, why don't we just... No, fly there. And she said, no, no, it doesn't work that way. We have to take a raft into a cave. And no, not by now Cole was starting to wake up a little bit and, you know, shake his feathers and stuff like that. And he said, but Carrie, why are we going, why, why, why aren't the humans already doing that? Because the humans have a lot better rafts than we birds could you know, ever build. And she said, no, 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 this water is, it, it, it's in a, in a cave and the cave is very, very small that only we as birds can build a raft with sticks that are just right to fit in there and to go get this big treasure. And Cole, who's already up for an adventure, said, all right, cool, let's just go ahead and build a raft. So they fly off together and they go to the side of the lake and uh, Carrie has his idea all in her head, right? So she's able, she shows him how to assemble little different size twigs and different size leaves and using the same sort of you know, building techniques as birds do with nests, they built a little raft that was perfectly capable of standing up to even the harshest waves so then um after uh after they're all set um and they they decide they're going to paddle with their feathers instead of using uh instead of using oars which i, I mean they're birds so they can do what they want um they went ahead and set off down the river and the waves were splashing they were up and they were down and water was coming over and they kept you know needing to do like with the birds like ruffle their feathers and stuff to get the water off and things like that and but Carrie knew exactly where they were going. She's like, go left, go right, go left. And they were zzz, 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 going all around the water. And then they see us uh, from what uh, Cole saw, because he was sitting in the back and Carrie was sitting, uh, Carrie was sitting in the back and she was steering. Cole was sitting in the front and providing all the, uh, like the engine and all the paddling. Carrie said, Cole, Cole, steer right, steer right. And because they were birds and they're really small and they're really down to the water, all Cole could see is a big rock. He didn't know what was at the base of the rock. It could have been a cave. It could have been nothing. But he trusted Carrie. And so he went ahead and paddled and paddled and paddled. And they sailed right up to the rock. And then the waves went up. And then as, they, as the waves went down, it went down the backside of the wave. Cole saw this little hole at the base of the rock. And Carrie said, that's it. That's where it is. Let's go. And so they all paddled really, really, really hard. And they went into the, uh, the little cave that only a bird and a bird raft could fit in. And I don't know if you've ever been on a water slide before, but this was like the best water slide either of the birds had ever been on. Suddenly, they started going really fast, and they were zooming this way and that way. And, and, and the world was turning, and all the rocks and stalactites and stalagmites were coming out, and they were rushing water all around them. And they were like, oh, this is so cool. And then the uh, right when uh, they turned this corner uh all Cole saw was a big wall rushing right at him, and he was about to try and put on the brakes, but they were going so fast in this water. And then right before they hit the wall, whoosh, they just went over this waterfall. But because they're birds, they were able to flap their wings, 
And they both took off and they started flying around in this underwater, in this underground cave. And they watched where their little birdie life raft or little birdie white water raft fell down and just smashed on the watery rocks below. So the bird went down and they landed. And what did they find? But in this cave was full of gold bird seed. It just messes, glittering with gem bird seed and gold bird seed and silver and diamonds and all these jewels. But it was all the perfect size for a bird to pick up in their beak. And then um, uh, they were like, wow, we're going to be rich. We have all this thing. We, we're, we have perfect financial. There's that third word. We have perfect financial stability now, which if you're wondering what financial stability is, talk to uh, an adult who you trust and they'll tell you about financial stability. But they were super excited because now they had all the money they needed. They just needed to figure out how to get it out of the cave. And uh, and as Cole was looking around on the floor of all the gold bird seed, and he was wondering how they're going to ever, ever fly back out where, the way they came because they needed the raft, but the raft was broken. Uh, Carrie went ahead and took her wing and patted and tapped uh, Cole on the shoulder and pointed up with her wing towards the ceiling. Sure enough, there is a very small bird size opening right at the very top. And Cole said, well, Carrie, how come we didn't just fly in there? Carrie said, well, it's not on the map. I didn't know it was there. And so Carrie and Cole spent the rest of the day flying bits of uh, birdseed gold and birdseed diamonds and jewels back up to uh, their, all their nests. And they neither one of them ever wanted for anything ever again. And they both lived happily ever after. The end. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a good night.